back to 504 Road Trips. Uh, today we're going to do a test on the new GoPro 8 Black uh, that I just got in the other day. And um, I haven't really tried out any video on it, so we'll see how that works. Uh, and while I'm doing this, I guess we'll make this kind of vlog style. Uh, one thing that I did that I forgot to do was it looks like looks pretty good. The picture looks good. Uh, I got a CPL filter for it, so uh, I don't really see any glare, so I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. Uh, our upcoming video series, uh, we just finished the Louisiana Highway 18 series, and we had been doing a bunch of local Louisiana highways just because travel wasn't really an option and um, that all changed three weeks ago uh, today is let's see today's Tuesday July 21st and uh, back on July 2nd we got a phone call from North Dakota that my father-in-law was gravely ill and uh, really needed to get up there to see him and because flying to North Dakota is not really the easiest thing to do uh, on short notice, um, we decided to just jump in the car and go. So, we got the call on uh, July the 2nd at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I tied up all the loose ends at work and uh, called some customers to let them know I was going to be gone for a week or so. And, locked up and we were on the road by four o'clock so I figured you know might as well run the camera while we're driving so what we did was we left New Orleans and there's three different ways to get to Bismarck from New Orleans uh, and they all are about the same length they all take about 25 hours uh, so it really didn't matter which route we took. We decided just for ease of having places to stay to take the route that we did. So what we did was we went to, uh, we drove I-55 up through Louisiana, Mississippi, across the corner of Tennessee, and into Arkansas. And then once you get into Arkansas, there's a spur called I-555 that goes to Jonesboro, which is about 30 or 40 miles west of I-55. And we'd spent the night there one time. It's a nice little town, so we figured we'd make that trip there, get to Jonesboro and check into a hotel, and uh, then head out across the Ozarks from there. So you've already probably seen the hotel review that we did in Jonesboro. Uh, from that point, all the way almost to Kansas City, uh, Missouri, uh, there's no interstate. Uh, it's all U.S. highway and or really mainly state highways, uh, Arkansas and Missouri state highways. And... Uh, you know, some of it is in the mountains, and we will eventually have video of all that. Uh, so that took the drive through a good bit of uh, Arkansas and Missouri took most of a day. And finally, you hit I-49 about 50 miles south of Kansas City, and you drive up uh, into Kansas City, and the next leg would be I-29, which takes you all the way up to, uh, well, it takes you all the way up to Canada, but in our case, it was taking us up to Fargo. We spent the night in Kansas City and hit the road the next morning, ended up driving to Fargo, and then you take a left on I-94, and you drive I-94 all the way to Bismarck. So... It wound up taking us uh, two and a half days just to get up there. We got into Bismarck around 11 o'clock at night. So we spent a couple of days there, got to see my father-in-law. Um, he was very ill, and uh, he 
passed away two days after we got back. So that, that's a whole nother story that I don't, really don't want to get into. But uh, heading back, we uh, took pretty much the same route, except we decided, and this was a mistake because it takes a long time, but I wanted to do it. Uh, we took I-49. Uh, you know, we took, went to Fargo, came down, took I-29 down to Kansas City, took I-49 all the way to, you know, we, we covered every mile of I-49 that is signed, and that's actually the next series that's going up. Um, once you get to, uh, once you get down into Arkansas, I-49 ends. And there's a very, very long stretch of, of U.S. Highway 71 that connects the south end of that part of 49 with the north end of 49 in Texarkana. And it's all two-lane highway. It's windy, curvy road. Not Nothing real steep. Um, you know, not like Blue Ridge Mountains um, type driving. But it is through, you know, some hills and mountains. Uh, but it just takes a long, long time. The speed limit is 45 to 55 the whole way. Uh, and it, 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 it just takes a long time. You really have to have some time to do it. We did not make it home that night uh, as we had planned because um, I just couldn't do it. It was close to midnight, I think. We got to Alexandria, Louisiana. We wound up just crashing at a Hampton Inn over there for the night and driving the rest of the way in the next morning. So uh, that was our trip, and that was why we went. Um, it was not, even though, you know, we were in a hurry, so it wasn't a real leisurely trip, but because of the pandemic, uh, you know, you couldn't really stop to eat in a restaurant, even though they did have places that you could do that. Um, we, we elected not to, you know I mean? We would run into the gas stations and get gas, grab snacks and coffee, masks everywhere. Uh, and in some places they're required, in some places they're not. Uh, but we had to be really, really careful just to minimize exposure to anybody uh, the whole time we were there. In the hotels, uh, I think all the hotels said wear masks in public areas, which we did, you know, but we got to our room and that was pretty much it. Uh, Bismarck was another experience because we had to actually go into a hospital there. And uh, there's a lot of strict protocol about, you know, you have to leave an ID and get a badge and uh, masks at all times. Uh, hit those hand, hand sanitizer stations every time you walk by one. But I think we stayed pretty safe. Um, nobody's sick. So uh, hopefully it stays that way. But anyway, so that was... Uh, I just wanted to give an explanation for... You know, why we made this cross-country trip when we said we weren't going to be going anywhere. It just was something that we had to do. And... Uh, Hopefully we don't end up getting sick or anything like that, but I, I think we've, we did everything. We did the best we could to minimize exposure. I think a trip to Walmart, mask or not, is probably more dangerous than the way we handled this trip. Uh, speaking of which, I've learned about uh, Walmart pickup, and I don't think I'm ever going to go into Walmart for groceries again. Uh because it's so simple and they've, they've actually gotten it together now where uh, they, they seem to be able to fill the orders and if they're out of something the substitutions that they make are usually better than what than, than what you would order uh, you know you get a larger quantity and they charge you the same price so uh, I think that's how I'm going to be doing my shopping, at least for the foreseeable future, just to minimize any chance of being anywhere around large groups of people. It's just, you know, 
too many people in close quarters at places like Walmart and just any grocery store in general. I shop at Walmart just because it's like right within almost walking distance of my office. So, um, but anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, the, the I-49 series, we're going to drive I-49 South and I believe I'm going to include the video. I got to see how it looks. I haven't really looked at it, but, uh, I got to see how the video of us 71 looks, uh, cause it was getting kind of late in the day. Uh, I wasn't really happy with the way I had the camera set up. And that's part of the reason why I bought the GoPro 8. Uh, just because it seems to be a lot better with exposure. And I guess I'll see when I review this video before I upload it. But uh, just from, from what I've seen and playing with it, it um, looks like it's going to be a much better picture. Uh, this is being recorded in 4K, 30 frames per second, which is a step up from what I normally do. I've been doing the road trip videos on the GoPro 5 in 2.7K at 60 frames per second. And uh, 4K, 30 frames per second seems to take up about the same amount of space on the memory card as 2.7K, 60 so that won't be an issue i'll still be able to get about eight hours nine hours of video on the card but the higher resolution is um, hopefully going to make a difference in the quality of the video my only concern with 30 frames per second is it does allow the shutter speed to slow down a bit and that causes some blur but from from what i've read about this camera the shutter speed is managed a lot better uh, than the older GoPros, so that may not be an issue. This camera also has variable ISO, which uh, might do a little bit better with, uh, that's something you'll see on the i49 series. We were in and out from under clouds. It was a nice bright day, but it got pretty dark when uh, on the screen when we'd go under the clouds. And I had to adjust the um, I had to adjust the exposure in, in, in editing the video just so you could really see what was going on around you know around the car or along the highway I guess. So hopefully this camera will manage that better. And uh, I guess we'll just have to see. I wish I would have had this camera for this trip, but. Like I said, it wasn't a planned trip. It wasn't a trip we ever expected to make. Um, and hopefully all that video comes out okay because since it wasn't a planned trip and we didn't really have any kind of idea, it, um, You know we just we just drove we were trying to get there so we weren't careful about cutting out um, stops and stuff like that trying to make it seamless or anything like that so you'll see a stop to fill up for gas and that kind of thing which just speed, speed up in the in the video you'll see uh, another thing is, is we crossed route 66 in Missouri and we knew we were crossing it, but we didn't really have time to research anything about it. I wish we would have had a little bit more time because I would have liked to have just gotten off the interstate and driven through the little town where Route 66 crosses I-49 because it's a neat little town. And if I ever get back up that way, um, I plan to do that. Building something here at the old Coca-Cola plant in Gretna. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for that I-49 series. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think about the new camera and, you know, and how this looks and everything. And uh, that's it.
join us for our next 504 road trip. See y'all later.